previously on The Way We Did It. We took our truck camper to Grand Teton National Park. We are now going to Badlands National Park, squeezing in as much as we can within our 48-hour trip. Dave and I were spending 48 hours in Badlands National Park. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of time, but we were able to drive the entire scenic byway, venture off-road to explore its expansive prairie, hike two incredible trails, and take a day trip to nearby tourist destinations. Here's the way we did it. Badlands Loop Road is a 31-mile scenic byway that goes through the north unit of the park. It immediately threw us into the dramatic landscape of the Badlands, weaving right in between its layered formations. Each overlook dove deeper into the area's history and revealed a different perspective of the Badlands. <laughs> One of our favorite stops was the Yellow Mounds. Their beautiful colors were created by chemicals of decaying plants left behind from an ancient sea. And don't be afraid to get out and wander around. Badlands is an open hike park, meaning you are free to explore its features off trail. It's loose. Gravel. <laughs> Oh wow. Look at the color. Super cool. That's so cool. On the western side of the park is Sage Creek Rim Road a dirt road that travels through a protected wilderness area of mixed grass prairie. Being from Colorado, we're no strangers to prairie dogs, but we've never seen a colony this large before. It stretched on four miles alongside the road. However, they still made the same adorable noises. Our visit just happened to correspond with the park's annual bison roundup, where the local herds are gathered into corrals for health checks and vaccinations. Although just down the way was an escapee that discovered a really nice scratching post. We wrapped up our first day watching the sun set over the park while carefully looking out for wildlife grazing in the prairie.
Now, let's go check out the campground. We were staying at the Badlands White River KOA. It's located just five miles south of the National Park. We booked a pull-through site with full hookups that came with a picnic table and fire pit. The campground also had cabins, sheltered tent sites with outdoor kitchens, swimming pool, dog run, general store, and a mini golf course with some pretty realistic obstacles. Is that a fake bunny or a real bunny? <laughs> <laughs> An obstacle. Mm -hmm. It's just a distractor. Where's Badlands, dude? There's right there. There's right there. Doesn't look so bad to me. <laughs> Dave and I have seen a lot of visitor centers, but this one had something truly unique. A fossil preparation lab, where you can watch actual paleontologists working on actual fossils. Badlands National Park is one of the world's richest fossil beds. So due to constant erosion of its soft rock, more and more fossils are being revealed every year. But what's really cool is if you happen to stumble upon a new discovery, your photo will be added to the wall of fossil finders. Before heading out on our day trip, we stopped for lunch at a remote picnic area half a mile south of the main road. We're out here, huh? Amongst the rocks. And just as we were leaving, we spotted bighorn sheep carefully climbing the steep walls of distant badlands, wondering if that's really the best route to take. It's nearly impossible to get lost driving to Waldrug. What started as a pit stop for wary travelers trekking across the prairie has transformed into one of the nation's largest roadside attractions. It's a giant maze of stores that sell basically anything you can think of, from souvenirs to toothpaste to cowboy accessories. After taking in a show at one of the many dioramas, don't forget to grab your free glass of ice water on your way out. During the Cold War, nuclear missiles were hidden throughout the Great Plains of the U.S. Most in plain sight, buried beneath average-looking ranch houses like this one. The National Park Service has preserved two of these historic sites, offering guided tours for those wanting a closer look. You ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Finally doing some hiking. I know, yeah. Our first hike in the Badlands. Notch Trail is a one and a half mile round trip hike that ends with a dramatic view of the White River Valley. Although this trail isn't for the faint of heart, we first had to climb a very tall log ladder to the top of the wall. 
A little bit of a backup here. Mm -hmm. but... At the staircase. That looks very steep though. Right. And wobbly. <laughs> Need it. It's not bad going up. <laughs> I'm a little nervous going back down. Then we had to follow a very narrow ledge into the Badlands. This looks a little sketchy. There were also parts of the trail that required scrambling up some large boulders. But for all that work, we were rewarded with a spectacular view. Now to turn around and do it again. <laughs> you first or me? I'll go first so you can catch me if I fall. Oh God, going up was easy. It's going down. This looks a little bit frightening. What do you think? Uh-huh. You gonna be all right? I think so. Oh my God. Just hold on. Shannon is uh, just descending slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. Minorly freaked out. We made it down. <laughs> what do you think? How'd you do? It was, it was a little scarier coming back down, but just take one step at a time. It's okay. How'd you do going back down the stairs? <laughs> Cinch. You have no fear. None at all. <laughs> Unless it's a mouse. <laughs> the door trail was much tamer. A short boardwalk led us to a panoramic view of this moonlike landscape. The this baddest of the bad is lands. the baddest of the bad <laughs> I just read that too. That's a hawk. Yeah, it is. Let's go see it. The trail then veered off the boardwalk and followed yellow posts marking a more primitive trail. being completely immersed in the Badlands. Watching the sun sharpen the horizon's craggy silhouette made us feel like we fully experienced Badlands National Park. Next time on The Way We Did It, we travel to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. where our trip takes an unexpected twist. <laughs> faster. It's a little faster. If you'd like to join us on more adventures, be sure to like this video and click that subscribe button. And consider joining our Patreon for extra perks like travel guides, bloopers, and digital photographs. It helps to support our channel so we can continue to show you the way we did it.